But as we're going through, as you were mentioning just uh, uh, this afternoon, that you're looking at 2021 as a really important date. And we'll see how it goes. And we have panic cycle next year. We've got you know, US dollar next year and some other things. But as we go into that 2021, I think it's interesting. Uh, people who are interested in commodities, again, you'll get specific with oil, for example, tomorrow and, and others. But broadly speaking, I don't see how commodities really go up if you've got a very strong US dollar, especially sort of very strong blow off kind of move in US dollar. Yeah, no, I mean, for the, the near term, that's correct. Then you, you get to the point where it's got to break. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> the computer's projecting out that the next 8.6 year cycle, which will peak off in 2024, uh, we're probably, that's most likely looking to be the, the commodity boom at that point in time. Which would make sense as currency, you know, the U.S. dollar, as you said, is going to be the last one where confidence leaves, you know. And, uh, yeah, leaves. I mean, as it leaves each area, Europe and then Japan and, and, and China, et cetera, um, and, and Canada, it, also look at it from this perspective. Do you have <clears throat> uh, Trump at least pushing it in the correct direction? lowering taxes, things of this nature. You have Europe raising taxes, Canada raising taxes. So you have basically all the other economies moving in directly opposite direction economically. All right, you still have deflation in Europe, et cetera. So um, that's why I'm watching this Trump issue because you're talking about it's what people believe. Mm -hmm. All right, so... <clears throat> Forget the economics, we'll, you know, how it will really work, okay, fine, if you only get a $10,000 deduction for property taxes. Um, uh, <clears throat> they're already putting a spin on that, and like CNN, I, as I said, you know, they're reporting, well, you know, so the New Yorkers are finally gonna have to pay their fair share. You know, the rest of this, 10,000 is enough. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so, um, but, once you get, if you get that through, you're, gonna, you're talking about changing the belief system. If people believe that, oh, okay, fine, U.S. economy is going to do much better, then you're going to see that capital flow coming in. You're going to see the U.S. companies bring home their money. And this is going to be very, very bullish for the dollar. 